A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus said to the chief priests and elders of the people, What is your opinion? A man had two sons. He came to the first and said, Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. He said in reply, I will not. But afterwards changed his mind and went. The man came to the other son and gave the same order. He said in reply, Yes, sir, but did not go. Which of the two did his father's will? They answered, The first. Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. When John came to you in the way of righteousness, you did not believe him, but tax collectors and prostitutes did. Yet even when you saw that, you did not later change your minds and believe him. The parable of the two sons is one of the more underappreciated and forgotten of Jesus' parables. When asked to go to the vineyard, the first son initially says no, but then changes his mind and obeys. The second son says yes, but then doesn't go into the vineyard. The first son is a metaphor for the prostitutes and sinners who listened to John the Baptist when he said, Repent, for the kingdom of God has come near. Although they said no when they initially strayed, they repented. The second son, however, is a metaphor for the chief priests, also known as the Sadducees, as well as the elders. They said yes to God, but ultimately didn't keep their word. In other words, by not practicing what they preached, they ultimately said no to God. Instead, they said yes to the world by aligning themselves with the Roman Empire, which ultimately led them to a life of sin far worse than that of the prostitutes and tax collectors. So who is worthy of entering the kingdom of God, Jesus asks? The Sadducees aren't, while the prostitutes and sinners are. The latter repents. The former does not. As a result, this parable is quite subtle and subversive, yet it's very thought-provoking. As the listeners leave Jesus, they probably would be asking themselves, am I the first son or am I the second son? This parable was quite relevant to Matthew's community, they were the sinners who repented and changed their ways. However, their Jewish counterparts, i.e. the Pharisees, did not. In other words, Matthew's community is worthy of entering the kingdom of God. The Pharisees are not. Not accepting Jesus as the Messiah meant, by extension, that they couldn't listen to him when he said, Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. For us, the parable of the two sons is still relevant to us over 2,000 years later. Ask yourself the same question. Am I the first son or am I the second son? When I stray from a life worthy of God's kingdom, do I repent? Or do I take refuge in the world by aligning myself with the world and its values, i.e. power, love of money, 
and even not practicing what we preach? Yes, we might sometimes go say no to God, making us temporarily like the second son, i.e. in the realm of the Sadducees and Pharisees. But it's our response of repentance which ultimately makes us like the first son, worthy of the kingdom of God.